and often have great trust and confidence in what they provide. Uh, there's a lot of firepower at the end of both of these benches. So the Raptors starting five. Kawhi Leonard out there with Pascal Siakam. Then there's Mark Gasol. Then there's Thomas Sadoransky. And it's Carter in at the two. Sabonis so can't hit. Three on three. Carter against Halliburton. Gasol passes to Carter. Here's Sadoransky. Back to Carter. Six to shoot. Pass to Gasol. Pacers with a rebound. This game against Toronto here, it's their first look at the Raptors. Yeah, they beat this team in the season series last year. But well, what's that really saying? We got to be honest here, which is really the only way I roll. Neither of these teams are world beat. Yeah, but you've got to start somewhere. A win tonight would be a step in the right direction. Here's Carter. It's tipped. Ingles passes to Halliburton. Here's Miller. Inside. Shoots. Here's Sabonis. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake. Frees the D. Yeah, I like Sabonis' game inside because he's confident and skilled. Pass to Gasol. Back to Siakam. Carter from outside. It's hauled in by Fall. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. But well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. It was maybe a step out of his range. Sabonis. Money from the wing. And you know, Sabonis can score from anywhere on the floor. He's always prepared to get his shot up. And then Gasol with the jam. You gotta have some guts and guile to take it to the bucket strong despite the big fella standing in the way. Pass to Sabonis. Outside, Ingles. Down low. And Halliburton, the bucket, on the assist by Ingles. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Millsap, he's checked in for Indiana. And Toronto also making a switch. Birch is checked in. And here in the first, approaching three minutes of play. Leonard outside. He didn't have his feet planted. Yeah, and and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. It's hauled in by Fall. Indiana leading. Ingles with it. He's picked up by Birch. Pass to Halliburton. Trains the triple. Halliburton's got five now. And their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Now here's Leonard coming off a solid outing against Dallas. Just five to shoot. Here's Carter. Shoots over Ingles. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. personal foul. That's on Second Joe Ingles. Five. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. For Toronto, Much better off Vince making Carter. him go to the line. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. And he can't hit the second. The Pacers have gone four of six in the first quarter. Here's Miller. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Well, we hear about NBA players whose dads played in the league or overseas. But for Tyrese Halliburton, 
His father, John, was a referee. I mean, that man, Tyrese, was exposed to the game at such a young age. His father, John, took him to basketball camp starting in preschool. And when you watch how Tyrese plays, it's obvious he has a great feel for the game. Now here's Halliburton. He's got five. And Fall gets it to go. You can't help but look toward their defense. And <laughs> they're totally lost. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point defensively, you have to take something away. Leonard for three. Drills it from deep. And you know, the improvement we've seen over the years from Leonard has been incredible, especially his three-point shooting. Millsap, right side. To the paint. Pass to fall. Millsap outside. On the wing, Ingles. Out to Millsap, takes the three, knocks down the long day. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Toronto has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Here's Leonard. To the middle. He shoots. Here's Carter. Uses the glass to finish the layup. That's got to be a relief. After three straight misses, he finally gets Time one to go. To the Pacers. Fans, your pace made. And the Pacers making a change here. It's February. Let's see how things are shaping up in the East. You take a look at the Raptors. They're in fifth place, right in the middle of the conference. Still time to improve that positioning. And of course, Indiana, pretty far behind right now. Well, right now for Toronto, it really hasn't been the dominant season they were hoping for. But they're still in the hunt for a high postseason seed. And they need to stay focused. I mean, they have to ensure they hang on to a high seed. It's imperative for them. Here's Halliburton, following the bucket by the Raptors. Pass to Millsap. Shoots from 12. Here's Miller. Leonard defending. With the fadeaway. And another basket for Toronto. You see how composed Leonard is close to the bucket? Knows exactly how to score at will. Here's Granger. Halliburton outside. Pass to Granger. Halliburton with the ball. Out left to the wing. Here's Granger. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. The Pacers again can't hit. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Leonard passes to Birch. And here's Carter. Just five on the clock. Back to Siakam, to the inside. And it's Birch missing. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. Pass to Millsap. Carter against Halliburton. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's and with the All-Star break the coming ball. up, Grant, I gotta first ask you, ball. what do you think of the format changes? You know what, at first, I was a little apprehensive Tyrese about the change, two. but it's really two. made the game more competitive, Shot. that's for sure. So it's so much fun to see everyone crank it up to full gear for a stretch Shoot there two. at the end and give the fans a show. First free throw is good. Both teams deciding to change it up. And both free throws good for Halliburton. For Toronto, they've gotten 5 of 11 shots to go. Trent outside. Let's go with a 3. Rebounded by Halliburton. Indiana's gone 3 of 6 shooting from beyond the arc. Fires for 3. The shot no good. Now Toronto takes it the other way. They come into this one having outplayed the Mavericks last time out. 
thanks to their stellar defensive intensity, they registered a ton of stops in that one. And the hustle they showed on that end was, was infectious, contagious. I mean, their squad really got after it. And it's blocked by Ibaka. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Indiana Pacers ball. ball as Indiana keeps possession. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Sabonis, he's checked in for Indiana. McDermott comes in for Halliburton. Here's Granger. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Celtics in Boston. Leonard's got room. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Leonard's got nine points. Oladipo against Leonard. Hayes with a screen on Leonard. Pass to Sabonis. Over Gasol. Sabonis can't hit. Toronto trailing. Leonard, left side, and here's Lowry from the arc. Kyle it's Lowry. good, and the assist Three that points. time from Leonard. Smart move going to Lowry, a talented shooter who doesn't hesitate on his shots. Here's Granger, guarded by Trent. And no good. Some solid defense from Gasol. Oladipo against Trent. Leonard outside. You got him. Pass to Gasol. The fadeaway. And the Raptors getting another bucket right there. An effective mid-range shooter. And Gasol's height, I think, helps make that shot tough for defenders to handle. Fans, your base fans. And the Raptors making a change here. And Anobi's checked in. Ninth in blocks. 15th in steals and an area where they could really improve is offensive rebounding they're in the bottom third in the league in second chance points this season they need to show more fight on the glass and circling back to those block numbers this squad has been all about protecting the rim this season that spot in the top 10 for blocks is proof that it's working for them now here's Oladipo still getting warmed up offensively no buckets yet in the game from him Picked by Sabonis. Shot clock at six. Inside. And Sabonis slams it in. Oh, one of the things that stands out with DeMontis Sabonis, this guy is high energy all the time. He's a relentless glass eater. Gasol. Goes back up. And that's two points on the layup. Gasol's got six points. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Two minutes. Oladipo, the pass to McDermott. Three-pointer, no good. Here's Toronto with the ball. They're on an 18-7 run. Back to Lowry. From deep. Pacers with a rebound. A tough loss coming against Boston in their last game. And, and you know, I mean, they played with great energy all the way through. Just fell a little bit short. Yeah, they were really close right there. Just couldn't string together a few key plays to help get them over the top for the win. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Yo, watch Depot. Oladipo against Ibaka. Sabonis, left side. Here's Granger. Adanobi covering. Takes it inside. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Kyle Lowry. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. Shooting two. First one falls for him.
and so he makes both from the line. Toronto's gone only two of six from the three-point line in this first quarter. Trent against McDermott, and here's Lowry from the arc. It's rebounded by Stabonis. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Oladipo on the take, and he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. His first personal foul. That'll belong to Kyle Lowry. Oladipo determined that time to get to the basket and forced the defense to foul him by driving right in there. Shots. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Oladipo. Well, you know, from role player to star, Oladipo's transformation has been remarkable. I mean, he's the guy who is really hungry to be an all-time great. And Oladipo drops them both. And they're doing a great job of earning their trips to the line. Boy, I love that attack mentality. Get in there and force the official to make a call. Trent from long range. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. Gasol is one of the best passers in the league. I mean, in his position, there aren't many better. Excellent at scanning the floor and finding the open man. Here's Sabonis. And drilled from six feet. Sabonis has got eight. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is That's something to be home. It's been all about Demonis Your Sabonis attention. for Indiana. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Fans, your face face. All right, look who's coming out of the court. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Indiana. They're playing a physical brand of basketball so far. And those trips to the foul line have been very useful. Another thing they've been able to really get going so far tonight has been the three ball, the long range shooting. We've got Brandon Clark, Doug McDermott out there with Halliburton. Then there's Jackson Hayes, and it's Ingles in at the three slot. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Now here's Halliburton. Over to the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. McDermott right side. The three. That shot, no good. And it's Toronto taking it the other way. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Now here's Ibaka. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. From the arc, it's rebounded by Indiana. Ingles got four rebounds now. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Defensive foul. They've been so effective on the That's interior this quarter. That's how you generate consistent offense. Looking at the modern game, Grant, what adjustments would you have to make in your game to thrive in the league today? Well, I would have worked more on developing the three-point shot. Back Mind in the, the 90s, it was Mind more the about the mid-range game, shot. Uh, a la Michael Jordan. But these guys now, they live at the arc, and that's just not how we did it back in the day when I was playing. Toronto has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Outside Ananobi. Now approaching two minutes of action here in the second. Carter, the pass to Ananobi. Back to Carter. For three. Buries it from three. Carter's got his second basket on the night. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. To the right side. Ingles against Ananobi. Pass to Millsap. Outside, Ingles. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Indiana again missing. The Raptors have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. 
Ananobi finds Hill. Back to Ananobi. Pass to Carter. Shoots over Ingles. Carter can't get it to go. You got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Now here's Ingles. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Boston. To the paint. And a slam dunk by Millsap. And this is what happens when Millsap gets deep inside. Superb at finishing with force. Hill the pass to Carter. Outside Ananobi. Birch down low. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Down low. Millsap. And a slam dunk by Millsap. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. And an Obi for three. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. First team foul. Ooh, good That's defensive intensity, Raptors. but you have to stay in control always, Three especially shots. on the three-point attempt. I mean, you have to defend that shot without fouling. Now you give a guy three free throws. And he can't get the first one. And even though his offense continues to develop, Grant, Ananobi's defense may be his most important contribution to this team. He has what I call positional versatility. He has great length, and he's light on his feet. And he doesn't have to gamble to be disruptive. And he's good on the second. And he nails the third. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Miller. On the wing, Ingles. Here's Fall. He's guarded by Birch. Fall no good. Toronto's gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. And here's Ibaka. Knocks it down from distance. You know, that's what you want out of your point guard. Hill is really doing a nice job getting the ball from side to side and not hesitating at all in doing it. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Come on to give up for your case mates. Toronto. Gasol's checked in for Birch. Siakam comes in for Ibaka. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for Ananobi. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Hill. For Indiana, they've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Halliburton with the ball. Now Carter defending. Here's Miller. And the three off target. Toronto's gone two of four from beyond the arc in the second quarter. Pass to Carter. Siakam with a screen on Millsap. Here's Carter. And a foul Tyrese called foul. on the way up. Tyrese so he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Raptors, Vince Carter. Two shots. Misses the free throw. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. He hits the second from the line. Indiana leading. Pass to Granger. 
Out to Millsap. Three pointer. Toronto grabs the miss. Leonard passes to Lowry. Now Carter. And he banks in the layup. Carter's got nine. Kyle Lowry with a beautiful setup. Indiana's gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. He shoots it. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's on Mark Gasol. For the Pacers. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Toronto. Well, guys, they are dialed in from long range already. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove out there. The other thing they've had going Showing for them too. tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. No good on the free throw. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Carter from outside. Yes! And it's Leonard it's with the assist that time. For three. Leonard's got three assists now in this one. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Here's Granger, a reliable offensive contributor, putting up almost 14 a game. Pass to Miller, five to shoot. Knocked away. In transition, here they come. Leonard, right side. Gasol misses. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Now here's Millsap. Here's Miller. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. First personal foul. Third team foul. At the line. For the Pacers. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. Both shots good from the strike. And it's Toronto's ball. They're on a 14 to six run. Carter with it. He picked up 27 points in their last win against Dallas. Pass to Halliburton. Here's Miller. Here's Granger. He's covered by Siakam. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Toronto has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Lowry to pass to Carter. Gasol with it. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Foul. Shooting for Toronto, Mark Gasol. Shooting one. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. Out to the right wing. Here's Fall. Check by Gasol. Fall, no good. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. To the middle. Gasol misses. Indiana trailing here. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Pass to Miller. Out to the right wing. And the ball out of play. The Raptors will have it. And checking out some numbers for Damanis Sabonis. 
He's been playing a larger role in their offense over the past five games. And we see that in his usage rate, which has gone up during that stretch. We'll see if they continue to lean on him here tonight. Lowry, the pass to Carter. To the inside. Gasol misses. Guys, this hasn't been his quarter. I mean, to me, it just doesn't look completely comfortable or confident. Lowry against Halliburton. Pass to Miller. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. He has seven. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Partner, good. Partner. In today's NBA, you have to stretch the floor if you want to win. They have loads of confidence from three-point land right now. Calls timeout. Fans, your pace And some changes here. For the Pacers, Hayes is checked in for fall. Sabonis comes in for Millsap. And Oladipo is subbed in for Halliburton. Now here's Oladipo. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Hayes with a screen on Lowry. Oladipo, the pass to Sabonis. Here's Miller. Clock at six. No good. Some solid defense from Gasol. Pass to Lowry. Now Carter. The field for the three-point contest is just about set. And no matter what the final list looks like, it's going to be an incredible competition. It just always is. The winner gets to stake claim as best shooter in the world. And that's a title lots of guys in this league really want. Well, you look at Carter. He's currently up there in the voting at number two. So clearly, no one is sleeping on his abilities as a lights-out three-point shooter. Yeah, it's his long-range shooting that puts him on another level. Definitely a guy who belongs in this contest. The voting is just about over. We'll keep you updated. This is just a tremendous list. And each year that passes by, it becomes more and more difficult to pick a field. So many talented shooters in the NBA right now. Pass to Oladipo. Here's Miller. Sabonis, right side. And Gasol with the block. The defensive player of the year during the 12-13 season, Gasol. Still outstanding at blocking shots. Oh, beating everyone to the ball. Great activity on the offensive glass. Now here's Carter. 15 points in the game. Two Releases. In the first half. Two minutes. Some solid defense from Hayes. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Pass to Miller. Now here's Sabonis. Checked by Gasol. Lowry outside. Gasol, a screen on Oladipo. Lowry, rejected by Sabonis. Outstanding defensive instincts by Sabonis. Really good timing when to rise up to reject shots. The score now all even. He's got nine. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Here's Granger. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Toronto's gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Lowry outside. Carter from outside. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Well, the Pacers shooting an average of 43% from the floor. Miller can't get it to go. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. Now here's Carter. And the foul called on Victor Oladipo. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. There's 25 seconds left in the first half. Gasol, the screen. Lowry drives in, and it's rejected. Pass to Hayes. Now Oladipo. He's checked by Carter. 
to the paint. With four on the clock. Here's Sabonis. The shot's good. Sabonis has got ten points. How about how well Sabonis uses his size there, powering right through the contact. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. It's the Pacers. They lead by two. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. I'm here with Nick Nurse, and Coach, I saw you imploring your team to pick it up. Where do you need to be better in the second half? Okay, Allie, appreciate it. 